August 21st, 2012 saw the official release of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Despite its simple approach, CSGO's player base has grown exponentially over the course of the last decade. It's also spawned a massive in-game economy that's worth millions and millions of dollars. But the fact of the matter is that CSGO is an old game. While it may be fun as hell, the visuals are admittedly a little bit dated. This is completely understandable though, as the original Source engine was released all the way back in 2004. Now obviously Source has been updated over the years, but it can't really hold a candle to more modern engines like Unity or Unreal. In other words, if CSGO wants to remain relevant, sooner or later it's going to need a serious update. Well, as it turns out, this update could be coming sooner than you think. In fact, if reports are to be believed, it's only a few weeks away. But what exactly does all of this mean? And what effect will it have on the existing CSGO community? So without further ado, here's everything we know so far about Counter-Strike Global Offensive 2. So before we get into what you can expect, let me give you a little bit of context first. So at the end of February, Nvidia released a driver update, and included in this update were two executables, namely CSGO S2.exe and CS2.exe. Simply put, this is confirmation that Counter-Strike will be upgrading to the Source 2 engine. If for some reason you're still not convinced, leading esports journalist Richard Lewis has been informed by his sources that Counter-Strike 2 is imminent. Now obviously CSGO using Source 2 is a major step forward for the game. But the burning question here is, will it be an entirely new game or will CSGO simply upgrade to the Source 2 engine? This question is admittedly quite difficult to answer, and regardless, there are pros and cons to either approach. If Counter-Strike 2 turns out to be a separate game, then the existing CSGO community should be largely unaffected. This means that players can check out Counter-Strike 2 at their leisure, and if any problems are encountered, they shouldn't have any far-reaching consequences. Once any major issues have been dealt with, players can simply import their existing CSGO profile into Counter-Strike 2 and continue as normal. This also means that any items or skins that a player might own won't be compromised in any way. This approach might be slower, but it's also safer and less counterintuitive than the alternative. If CSGO simply upgrades to the Source 2 engine, everybody is basically forced to comply. This is the fast and arguably easier way to do things, but there are several problems with this approach. Firstly, players with lower spec PCs, which may not be able to handle the Source 2 engine, might be cut out entirely. Also, any issues that might arise could very well affect everybody. Maybe I'm just being paranoid or overlooking some important details, but in my opinion, this approach does feel riskier. That said, there will almost certainly be a beta testing phase for Counter-Strike 2, so this may in fact end up being an optional DLC that players can opt into if they so wish. No matter what approach Valve decides to use, I'm sure they're taking all the necessary precautions to protect players' assets and respect their autonomy. Valve knows that there's a lot at stake here and that they need to proceed with caution. So in this respect, I don't really think there's anything to worry about. Obviously the upgrade to the Source 2 engine will bring many graphical improvements to Counter-Strike, but according to Lewis's report, there are other upgrades on the cards as well. At present, CSGO servers run at 64 tick, which is pretty much standard for online competitive games. Tick rate is kinda like frame rate, and although there's a relationship between the two, they're not the same thing. Simply put, tick rate determines how frequently a server will update information per second. This means that current CSGO servers update 64 times every single second. However, third-party matchmaking services like EC and Faceit use 128 tick servers. Popular tactical shooter Valorant also boasts 128 tick servers. A higher tick rate inevitably means more precise gameplay and a better experience for gamers overall. For this reason, a lot of people in the CSGO community have been requesting an upgrade to 128 tick servers for quite a while now. And from what it appears, this will finally become a reality with the release of Counter-Strike 2. This seems like a net positive overall, but some critics have pointed out that the vast majority of players won't even notice the difference. In fact, Kinsey, a prominent CSGO analyst, ran an experiment four years ago which basically proves this. Still, this is something that many in the CSGO community have been requesting for years and it looks like it's actually going to happen now. Over and above all this, Counter-Strike 2 will apparently include an improved matchmaking system that will reduce the need for third-party matchmakers such as Faceit and EC. The good news here is that no matter how the upgrade is handled, player assets such as skins will remain safe and sound. The beta for CSGO Source 2 or Counter-Strike 2 or whatever it's going to be called should begin at the end of March or at the very latest April 1st, 2023. I played the original Counter-Strike back in the day as well as CSGO and will definitely be checking this out as soon as it releases. So that's basically everything we know about Counter-Strike Global Offensive 2 so far. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts about CSGO 2? Are you excited about it? Do you have any concerns? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you hot content on a regular basis. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!